Hi, thanks for tuning in. Today I want to do a review of this little bag right here. I've been carrying it a lot more given that it's the summer now and I've been showcasing it on my Instagram so I've been getting a couple questions. I thought it would be helpful to share uh, the style and also compare it to some of the other mini bags I have from Chanel. So if you're interested in learning more about this bag, keep watching. So I purchased this bag in 2015. I believe it was part of the spring summer collection in 2015. It could have been cruise that was left over, but I purchased it in March, which is around the time that the spring collections start coming through the shops. I purchased it at a Neiman Marcus in Westchester. So it was a department store boutique and I just happened upon it. I fell in love and this is really one of the first uh, like bags I purchased from the store. So to share a little bit more detail, this is what the bag looks like. You see it has the ruthenium hardware. This is the back, there's no pocket. Uh, the strap has some leather and the inside is lined, has two compartments with a zipper compartment in between and there is a zipper in the back there. Um, the stitching on the edge here says Rue Cambon Paris, which is fun. And let's see, this bag was made in Italy. So this is in what they called a shiny lambskin leather so it's lambskin but it's seem it feels like it's a little coated it feels a little um a little stiffer than just our classic classic lambskins and there are four grommets on the top here and the dimensions for this one are roughly it's like eight and a half inches wide um, five inches tall and at the widest point it's about three inches down here. So what really attracted me to this bag was that it was in a very classic shape, so the classic quilting with the rectangular shape, uh, but it mixed some of the elements that were like on the boy bag, which to me were like the chain handles, the, the, this kind of uh, chain shoulder strap with the ruthenium hardware so it wasn't too shiny and like girly, it was a little tough and edgy. I liked that it had these two separate compartments which makes it really roomy to carry a lot of stuff in here. Um, you can tell from the leather on the straps that this is a seasonal piece so uh, the style is called a burgundy rock, that's what it was called, uh, at least that's what it was on the box. Uh, there might be, I think this also came out in another color. I think it was like a red tone, uh, but other, I've just really, really liked this blue, which is looking pretty true on camera. It's, it's, a, it's a greenish blue, so it's slightly turquoise, but it's darker. It's not like a, a bright, bright turquoise. Uh, and it's not a full, like, true blue color. It's kind of like a mermaidy color, if that makes sense. So this was a really exciting find for me. I liked that it combined some, some girly, some feminine, and with some like boyish details, like the straps. I like to wear it either like this. You can wear it over your shoulder, very, very comfortably. Uh, you can also wear it on the crook of your arm. And I also like to extend the strap in the back and uh, kind of sling it a little bit lower on my body. The, the strap length is not long enough to do crossbody. It's really only a shoulder or arm bag. So I really love this bag. It is a great, uh, slightly more casual piece, though you can dress it up and down. Like I already mentioned, I really like that it combined more feminine features with some more edgy accents. And at the time, it was a real like representation of my style and what I was really looking for. I also like that it's a little different. Um, I haven't seen that many of them around. I do kind of wish it had the Mona Lisa pocket on the back, uh, which would have just been nice to be able to like quickly stuff some items in there. But uh, I do like the compartments on the inside. Uh, having separate compartments makes it easier for me to organize some of my items. 
so I, I really like that feature. I think it's a really versatile piece. The shiny sheepskin is not as delicate as some might fear with general lambskin, but like I said, it does feel like it's slightly coated. It does feel like it's made to be a little bit tougher than some of the really buttery soft lambskin like classic flaps you'll find in the boutiques. I find the size perfect. Uh, if you follow me and you've seen some of my other videos, you'll know I have a lot of uh, mini bags in my collection anyway. Because of that, I find this to be perfect to fit all of my essentials in there. And uh, it's really easy to carry. I like that I can you know, just fling it on my shoulder if I need to, or carry it in the crook of my arm. I, sometimes I wish it could be crossbody, but if I'm really looking for a hands-free day, I have other crossbody bags, so that doesn't bother me as much. I think the biggest thing that sold me on this bag was the color. I don't think I've come across this color ever since, and it's a really, really unique color that I really like to carry in the warmer months, like the spring and summer, uh, but I do also wear it in the fall, winter, mostly in the winter time, because I think it's it's a very versatile color that goes through all the seasons. It work, pairs nicely with your darker clothes, and it pairs nicely with your lighter clothes. So let me quickly share uh, what fits inside. Oh, I think I forgot to mention, I like that it's canvas lined because then uh, there really is no concern of like scratching anything. Um, and I think the uh, this more accordion style affords uh, some more flexibility in, in opening and closing your bags. So with that, um, I'll show what fits inside. It actually fits a good amount, which is like my everyday, like my wallet. Uh, this is a full size wallet and the Hermes Compact Bjorn. I usually slot that in the back here and that takes up the majority of that space. Uh, and then in the front, I can also fit a pouch that has my lip products in there. And I have a little bit of room left over on the side. Uh, so I could add uh, like a pack of tissues or some gum. Um, my keys will also definitely fit in here on laying on top. I forgot to bring them over. Uh, but also, if you have like a key clay, it would fit just perfectly in there. Um, I don't carry a key clay, so I, I can't show you that. Um, but as you can see, this isn't the most effective use of this space in here, so I'm going to take out some of the items in my makeup pouch. Um, like, you know you don't really need to carry three lipsticks, even though we all do anyway. So if I take out some of the items, here. So I'll just throw my lip balm in there, my eye drops, and whatever lip that I want to wear. That opens up a lot more space in here so that I can fit my sunglasses if I want to. And I always carry my sunglasses in a soft pouch because the hard cases take up too much room. And as you can see, that fits most of the space in here. I can slot my keys right in here because I don't have a key clip. I can slot them in right there. If I needed to, I could rearrange and put my lip products in the back here. And then I would have room to put the key clay and my sunglasses down here. Oh, I forgot my lip balm. So then I would put the key clay and I would layer the sunglasses right on top. And let me just shimmy this down and it closes just fine. Uh, of course, typically when I carry smaller bags, I won't carry my full-size wallet, and instead I will have uh, a card holder. So if I slide a card holder in the back, that definitely opens up a lot more space, uh, not only to slide more things in the back here, but can add more stuff in the front. I don't really use this zipper pocket in the middle, I used to use it to store receipts and um, other like little little things to slot in there, but typically I don't really use it. Uh, if I have an inclination to use it, I will often leave it open like this and just close the flap. But otherwise, if it stays, if it's closed, then uh, I typically don't use it. And to be really frank, this isn't the smoothest zipper I've experienced in my life, so uh, because of that, I tend not to use it that much. Okay, now I wanna do some quick comparisons against other mini bags that are popular from Chanel. 
and maybe this will help you figure out whether you want to look for a style like this or if you already have a mini you want to just stick with that uh, so I think the most comparable item would be the Chanel rectangular mini and that is the one that I have right here of course I wore really dark clothes too <laughs> um, so this is my Chanel rectangular mini that's in the chevron and pvc cover or pvc overlay on uh, like a distressed casket underneath it's a so black style and uh, this only has two grommets on the top so you can only pull the uh, straps through those two holes and it is a longer strap to do crossbody if i do a side by side comparison you'll see the size is almost almost identical wait let me see if I can do this yeah it's almost identical I'll do a comparison from the side here I would say the burgundy rocks looks a little bit wider than the uh, rectangular mini if I do a comparison on the back the minis have a um, have the Mona Lisa pocket in the back and from the top or I guess this should be the top uh, so they are very 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 similar in size so and almost almost identical in function I think the main difference would be that this burgundy rock has two compartments it has two straps and uh, while it can be over your shoulder it cannot be crossbody and in terms of the amount that fits in, I think because this has two of these pouches, effectively like pouches, while this is one rectangular compartment, this is a little more flexible to fit a few more things if you needed to. Granted, if they were like softer things, like if you really wanted to squish a pack of tissues in there, you probably could, things like that. Uh, the rectangular mini has a much more structured base right here um, with, the, with the veining that kind of goes up on the sides here so uh, this can sometimes feel a little bit more restricting on how much you can put in there you can also see this is uh, slightly has like a triangle bottom which means the bot this lower part is going to have a wider width than the top and it means if you have like thinner things more things you can pack them closer to the bottom and leave the top uh, more roomy to close the back comfortably and that's how you can also fit more things in here so Strictly speaking, I think this would fit a little bit more when it comes to the everyday items that I carry I don't think it's a really notable difference though I will note that while I can put my full-size wallet this compact beard while I can put, carry this in here and carry other essentials that I need I Typically can't do that with my mini so in my mini if I were I'll show you really quickly if I were to put a full-size wallet in here it would take up all of that space can you see and it leaves very little room comfortably in the in front of the wallet unless something's really flat this is also really tall so it prevents my sunglasses from fitting nicely inside the mini while the burgundy rock you saw I could put the beer in the back and I could put my sunglasses in the front if I wanted to so when it comes to the mini, I will almost always carry a card wallet instead of a full-size wallet so that I have more space in the rest of the bag to put my essentials in there. Uh, so while the minis can afford a crossbody style because the straps are long enough, they only have two grommets so it gets harder to do like a shorter style. What I typically do is I'll cross the straps into an X like this and I will loop it into the flap so that way it becomes shorter. Now you will see the straps coming out from the sides here. Uh, I think it's pretty, It's. I think it still looks pretty and the sizing, like the spacing between the grommet and the size isn't too like ginormous that it looks awkward. Uh, so if I wanna carry this as more of a, a like a shoulder or a crook of the arm bag, then this is how I make that happen. So the minis do have the versatility to be a shorter strap as well as crossbody. So if that's important to you, I think the classic mini is a better fit for you versus something like the Burgundy Rock.
But if you already have a rectangular mini, I don't think it's critical that you go out and have to find this item. If you don't have any of the minis and you're interested in trying a mini style uh, and you come across something like a burgundy rock, I think it's a great style to add to your collection because it is different. It is very unique in the um, in the accents that it has and and the and the compartments that are on the inside. So if you're interested in that and you like that versatility, I definitely go for this. Otherwise, like when you compare the two, there isn't uh, that much of a of, of a difference that I would say you have to have both of them. The other popular mini style at Chanel would be course the wallet on chain and um, if we compare the two size wise uh, on the front face they look pretty similar but from the side you can see there's a pretty dramatic difference this is about I'm gonna say it's an inch maybe an inch and a half if you stretch it out all the way the back uh, the you the classic style uh, walks have a pocket in the back and the strap of course is much longer on the walk as it's meant to be crossbody and uh, the burgundy rocks is not crossbody. Uh, so this is my um, reissue wallet on chain with the rainbow or oil slick hardware. This is from like pre-fall 2017 I think and um, I've been I've worn this a ton so you can start seeing I can start seeing some wear on it but I just love this so much I, I really don't care I just wanted to do a quick comparison on the two of these so the walk is a lot smaller and you carry a lot more like you really pare down to your essential essentials in the walks I do have a walk comparison video of, of a couple of different styles of walks but if you watch that video, you'll see what really fits inside and actually a lot does fit inside of a lock. If I needed to, I can fit my compact beer inside of here. Uh, it just means I carry a lot less in terms of anything else. Otherwise, uh, if I use the card slots that are in the back inside here, oh, here we go, then I can go ahead and add more like lip products and I have space to squeeze my sunglasses in there and everything. If you already have a walk but you want a bag that is a little more substantial, has a little bit more room, and you have the flexibility of fitting more things in it, then I would definitely be looking for something like the Burgundy Rock. If you like this aesthetic, if you like that it combines, you know, like this ruthenium chain, and you know but it maintains that classic silhouette then i definitely look out for this style it could come back again in the boutiques but you can also definitely check on the pre-loved market because this is a seasonal piece i would suspect that the price points on these would be really really great versus if you were looking for like an ultra classic piece those can sometimes maintain higher price point. But if you already have a walk and you're satisfied, you think it carries everything that you really need for your everyday, you prefer something that can stay crossbody, then I don't think you have to go run out and look for something like this. I think then you don't, you might not even be somebody who needs to have um, like the classic mini in your collection either if you're fully satisfied with the functionality of the walk. So that's everything. I hope you found this video helpful. Although this is a seasonal piece and you may not be able to find it, I hope some of these points and comparisons make it easier for you to make a decision on purchasing either a Chanel Mini or if there is a different seasonal piece in the boutiques at any time you visit, you can keep these in mind and think whether this is something that you think you want to spend your money on or you want to wait until you find like a more classic piece that fits your style. If you need any more details on anything or you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below or head on over to Instagram and I'd be happy to help however I can. If you like this kind of content, I put out new videos every Sunday, so if you'd like to be one of the first to know, feel free to subscribe. So until next time, bye!